Lime Mosquito is sweeney from LimeMosquito.com. And it was all like, you like it, you like it, you like it. Okay. All right, I happen to get this question from one of my, um, you know, friends online. And the questions were this, okay, life after death. So the first question is, Lloyd, do you believe in life after death? Well, uh, I don't believe in life after death because uh, there's, no, there's not been any scientific proof of uh, any life after death kind of scenario. So I just feel these are, uh, you know, man-made concepts for people to be nice so that uh, they would not hurt or harm anyone because they just feel after I'm dead, you know, I'm not accountable to anyone. So that's why they gave them something to be scared of where uh, if you are bad, you would suffer for the rest of your life. So no, I don't believe in life after death because it has never been proved. And um, I, you know, I, I just don't want to believe in uh, some kind of fantasy land which has not been proved by science. The next one is, uh, so what would you do after you're dead? After I'm dead, I'm dead. You know, finished. That's the end of it. Uh, it's, uh, there's no Alice in Wonderland uh, kind of concept. Uh, Lloyd, what about your sins after you're dead? Uh, you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> before when I was a Catholic, I used to always you know, go and confess my sins and feel good about it that somebody hurt them. Today, I don't think much about it. What are you doing? You nice little toy, you're a fight. Okay. Uh, I don't think much about, uh, you know, my, my sins because I just believe in being good and yeah, there are times I will not be so good. So what happens to my sins after they did? They die with me. Okay, next question is, uh, what? Mm, why do you, you, you don't follow any religion? When you die, what would you, how would you, what? How would your funeral ceremony be? Uh, it's very simple. After I'm dead, I'm going to donate my body to science. So let them take all my uh, uh, body parts, whatever, eyes, um, you know, lungs, heart, whatever they want to donate it to someone. I'll donate every part of my body to someone in need who can benefit from this because just dying, just dying and having the worms eat it is no point. So might as well give it to someone. Okay. Then uh, aren't you scared of death? Uh, well, uh, you die, you die. You know, when you have to die, you die. But that's it. There's nothing to be scared. And then another question was, Roy, why don't you forgive your uh, mother and the people who have hurt you. See, the thing is, um, I, you know, my opinion on forgiveness and on forgetting, uh, people will be idiots. They'll forever remain idiots, even if you forgive them. So it's not that I'm planning out on taking revenge attacks. Ow, biting heart. Okay, I'm not planning on taking revenge attacks against anyone. Why don't you just sleep? What are you munching on, you little doggy? Okay, I'm not planning to take any revenge attacks against, ah, against anyone. But uh, how do you like if I bit you? You know, I'm not planning to take any revenge attacks on anyone, but uh, at the same time, you need to understand that there are some people who will always forever be idiots. They'll remain as idiots. So if you for, uh, forgive them and let them know that you forgive them, they'll come and chew your brains again. So I prefer keeping away from such people and forgiving them for their stupidity is unacceptable. So I just don't think about it. And uh, about this forgive and forget, I think it's overhyped. But yeah, I don't keep any kind of uh, negativity inside. But I constantly think about them. I just forget about them, and I. Uh, but I don't forget what they've done to me, so I don't make the same mistake again. So, I hope these uh, questions answer. Uh, I hope these answers, uh, you know, kind of give you a light as to how I think about death and all that stuff. And see, I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, some people ask me, where do your morals come from? It's it's very simple. Uh, I don't need any book to tell me I need to be nice to people. Um, uh, I, I don't need anyone to lecture me to tell me that I need to be a nice person. But I choose who to be nice to. I, I'm not going to go around killing people. I'm not going to go around raping anyone. I'm not going to go around harming anyone. I just believe it's simple common sense uh, and common courtesies that we need to have. And uh, as long as uh, you have this kind of, uh, you know, uh, sense of thinking, you're not going to harm anyone. And you just because it is said in a book, that doesn't mean that uh, that book is going to uh, be the place from where all my morals come from. I, I, just being, I just believe in being nice to people who are nice to me and those who are not nice to me, I keep away from them. So I don't need uh, anyone to tell me this. So that's who I am. That's how I am. So that's how I think. So live from LimeMasita.com and it's LimeMasita.com sharing with you his thoughts, his feelings about uh, all these uh, concepts of being nice and, you know, life after death and blah, blah, everything else.
So a lot of people see it on and was like, I see it on you, you, you dog, why are you biting me? Okay, he's, he's, I, 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 I really have no idea. Why are you biting me? Why are you biting me? You want to die? Hmm? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Nice girl. Okay. All right. So saying goodbye for now. Any other questions, send it to me. Bye to Goodbye for now. Bye. Mm-hmm. What?